What's up, everybody? It's the Spiritual Light Passing Through. Pat and I came to do a quick video for the ladies of the nation. And I did this video because I had to admit to myself that, you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that experienced this, that before I came into this walk, I was listening to the different camps and their ways that they thought of women were a bit disturbing to me. And I said to myself, you know what, I want to walk with the Most High. I want to do all the things the Most High wants me to do. But the way that they think about us, that's that's just not healthy to be around. That kind of negativity, that kind of toxic energy of, 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 of individuals and that way of thought. That's something that I knew I could not be around. So I was like, I'm going to have to walk away from this walk. And before I did, he grabbed me by my look, you know, called her like, no, 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 not just yet, not just yet. Wait a minute. And, and he ran, you know, he, he pointed me to different people. I ended up seeing people like Brother Man, different people like, you know, Big Judah and stuff like that. And they were a little bit more welcoming to women in this walk. And I loved that. And I was like, okay, I'll stay a little bit longer. And it's just really sad because I know a lot of women may have wanted very much so to be in this walk and got turned away by camps so i was making this video today to address that type of situation you know it's like it's bad enough that inside of christianity when individuals like myself were at church every story that was in the bible looked at women had a very negative view of women all the way from eve down to any of the other women that had any standout moments inside of the literature of the Bible that we have as we know it. Okay, and it was just really, really sad to me because I'm saying to myself, wow, as a female, it's bad enough you live in a world where it's already men ran, men look down on you, you are nothing but a sexual play toy to most of them, they do not take you seriously. Um, women are trying their best to, I guess, be seen by these folks in their own way and do whatever they need to do to be able to fit in. And, and sometimes these things are just, you know, disturbing, unfortunate things that they have to put up with to be able to just keep a job or, or just, you know, just feel like that they are a part of this world. And it's just really sad. And I just got to a point where I was saying to myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to read this, but me and the Most High are going to have to have a conversation on where do I fit because honestly in this world, I don't feel comfortable here as a female, you know, and stuff like that. And everything is geared towards the male persuasion. And he hit me one day with this. He's like, everything around you has a feminine essence or a feminine spirit. All of the elements are feminine. All of them. The earth itself is a female. So what makes you think you're not important to me? That made me feel a hundred times better. Coming from a girl who had a, the first man that she met in her life did not want, he did not want a girl, he wanted a boy. And that was my daddy, you know what I'm saying? My father wanted boys, he did not care for girls. So for me to grow up in a situation where you're the first man that you meet is rejecting you and then you walk into a world where you even more rejected as a female and looked down upon or you're looked at as, so you know, if you got any looks about you as some kind of play toy for somebody, they don't take you seriously as far as your mental capabilities are concerned. What you have to say, especially when you're black, and you are a female means of nothing is of no use to you you know what i'm saying now you got camps telling you you just need to be quiet have some babies be a wife and sit in the corner what happens to people like me and when the most high straightened me out and says some of the <laughs> some of the uh, most amazing elements in this world are females and they work very closely with me so you have nothing to worry about. And you might want to pay attention to the fact that you're looking, you're actually sitting on a planet that's getting ready to go through a metamorphosis right now. And you are a female as well. What makes you think you're not going to be a part of that change? 
And that hit me. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. What you're saying? What I'm saying and what I understood that was being said to me was is that women on this planet are going to go through a metamorphosis and we do not realize just how that metamorphosis may come to being. Okay? So, I am excited for this time and I hope you are too. I, I don't want anybody to have these feelings of not feeling like you are part of something amazing happening that only the men or the teachers and, and the women are just to sit here and listen because that is not how this is going to be. I guarantee you it's not going to be how it's going to be. Because when I looked at and read the different books of Lachelle Dick and stuff like that, the women inside, especially the book of Grandmothers, the women inside this book, in those books were asked to do and go through horrific things, okay? I realized I wasn't the only person that ever went through a shitty relationship list, reading the books of the grandmothers, okay? And then some of these women were asked to do just like, what, bro? I, I, I love Naki C, but come on, man. <laughs> Ooh, you asking me to take a hell of a hit for the team right now, you know what I'm saying? But... I'm looking at how the women played such important roles and how this new um, order, beside the order of Michelle Zodick, the order of the female side of it, um, is going to come into being. Yes, we're going to be able to pray and ask for different things and that help will come to us. But they never told you how that's all going to come together like that, okay? And how the prayer would be able to is not is a little bit more than just praying if your husband is a circle drawer you, you can help do things too you understand what i'm saying it's a lot going on there and everybody ain't married but everybody has their abilities you understand and those books i found myself I, I found myself as the little girl that told the the guys that were coming in their territory inside the book of grandmothers with, uh, with her little dog and her staff and, and most told her to tell them to go away see that 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 would have been me I ain't a badass look here. Don't get your ass away from over here. Go on back where you came from before you get hurt. You understand? That would have been me. <laughs> he was like, I didn't say all of that, kid. Okay. Damn. <laughs> you understand? It would have been me. But that's the kind of person that I am. But you need to understand as a female in this walk, the Most High has some amazing things prepared for you. Amazing things. Things that I don't think you even realize are going to be asked to you to do. And and even my daughter had to remind me. She's like, Ma, I, I know you're doing your videos and stuff like that. I said it's because something keeps on telling me to do this. I have a whole nother other YouTube page. And that deals with a whole nother subject. And I stopped doing that page because of the fact that I realized there was more important things going on. And this meant more to me than that. And I felt like I needed to be able to have this kind of conversation with people who would understand where we're going and what's happening. And by the earth going through her earth changes, it is very clear that the Most High is like, Pat, I need you to, to, to come in with your ability to talk to people straight and, and, and get the craziness and the woo-woo and the superstition out of things and talk to people directly so we can get some people online because it's going to be all hands on deck very soon coming up. Because what we don't understand as women is that we can provide many things. Sometimes we can bring calm to a situation where people are losing their minds, okay? We can bring understanding to a situation so all so level heads can prevail okay all right there they you know I, we're not like the two-thirds where they're screaming in the street stop fighting no no stop fighting stop it. and all of that no 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 some of us know how to get in between so I'm take this person this way you take this person that way we're gonna get this handled privately and we're gonna come back together and we're gonna talk about this like we got some sense we have people inside the nation and women inside this nation that can do that. We can make level heads prevail, okay? Women have different abilities to do different things, all right? We also have the ability to inspire you, baby. Inspire you to get up and do things you never thought that you could do, all right? 
I've inspired many children. I've inspired many men to stand up and do things when they were afraid to do them. Okay? And sometimes had to show them by example the, what they could do. Me being a female, they're like, if this a woman can do this, I know I could do this. Exactly. So I'll get out there and do it. You understand? We, we, we can be coach, team coaches in ways for our men that they've never experienced before. Okay? Even though they may have to go out there and fight them battles, we know how to be able to get them together. We know how to get them. Rah, rah, come on. You know what you're doing, boy. <laughs> this is how we get down. Let's get low, let's get loose. We know how to inspire our other halves. Okay? But coming up soon, just like what's happening in the Ukraine, they showing us our people being left on trains and all this, you know, trains and stuff like that. I sent a prayer up for our people. See, this is the things you have to see. When they show us that this is how they doing things to us, as women, we need to at this point say, okay, now this, oh, that's how they going to do it. We're going to talk to our most high. Look at this most high. I know you see it. We see it. But send whatever help, the best help you know how, and get them people up out of there immediately. You understand what I'm saying? And you never know how the most high is going to work. Because he knows what they're doing, but he wanted to show it to everybody. That y'all talking about, oh, prayers for the Ukraine. Ukraine don't give a fuck about your people. And they never did. Now, that was also shown to you for another reason too, baby girl. Now, this is for the ladies, so you understand what spot we in and the men who are in here ear hustling, okay? But this is showing you what would happen in America, okay? Now, some of us is experiencing it already with the job situation, all right, that, that these people are giving their best jobs no matter how much education you got to their own kind. I know I've seen it. And I just said, you know, y'all can have that shit. I don't care. I, I'm smart enough to be able to find another way of hustling. You understand? But when it comes down to it, if at any point something happened to a major city and you got to leave and all of the normal way of living stops, first and foremost, don't be like most people. When you start hearing this stuff is going south, Start making your plans then, okay? Don't be waiting right here. But understand and know that your counterpart is only going to be hand only gonna be worried about themselves. They're gonna get real exclusive real quick. They're not gonna care about you, your black family, your brown family, your Puerto Rican family. They're not gonna care about any of that. So why everybody was shocked at what happened over there, I don't know. Because the same crap will happen right over here, baby. These people, when it comes down to them hurting, they're going to take care of them. You just get taken care of by default. Never let that leave your mind. Trust me, if they would have had a way during this pandemic not to give your black ass any money, they would have done it. You got taken care of in this pandemic by default. And because your most high was looking out for you. But trust that if Putin and America sits up here and comes off that bench and bothers that situation in Ukraine, make no mistake, Putin has got some missiles pointing right over here at us. Trust that. Okay? People trying to make him seem like he's crazy. He's not crazy about that, man. We need to mind our business. We need to sit this one out if we had any good sense, but we're not going to do that. But the same thing can happen over there. can happen to us. So ladies, understand that what's happening over there with them kicking the women off the bus, the trains, women and children were supposed to get on those trains. I'm quite sure there was a couple of guys in drag standing there with a full wig and dress on talking about, girl, yes, honey. Yeah, kick her off. Kick that little nigga off. They were doing all of that. But they were doing that because that's how they've always felt. And in a state of emergency, you are going to be low on the totem pole. Know this. Don't let it be a surprise to you. Know this. This is why we need to come together as a group of people to be able to understand how we're going to move when it comes down to situations like this. Yes, I am hoping and praying that the Most High crash this guy soon and get us up out of here so we can watch this from afar. 
Because that would be the ride of all rides, honey. Is is that those chariots are seen in the sky and they only picking up certain folks and everybody else like, well, why are they picking up them? What about our ride? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come. I'm sorry. It didn't show up for you. You understand? Because they feel like they're supposed to just skip all all the bad stuff is not supposed to happen to them. I mean, if you're listening to some of the things that these people are saying, bad things are not supposed to happen to them. When those houses got burnt down here and when the weather had changed and, the, and all of that uh, fire had completely demolished and took away all these people's homes and left nothing, honey. Those people said this wasn't supposed to happen in a neighborhood like ours. As if bad things only happen to black people and other people and not white folks. I didn't understand that. But this is for you to be able to understand and be very clear on what you're seeing. Our people being treated that way. Women and children being left behind in a war. Where everybody could die. Bullets and, and, and bombs, they got nobody's names on it. They don't care about color. They don't care who they dismember when they set off. But they look at how people see us as a group on the planet. Okay? This is how you know when that moment happens, when the world sits up here and sees who we truly are. That was them? Yeah, that was them. And then they're going to be hollering because they can't go. The black folks got a ride, a real, the real ride. The hell with a train. They got the real ride. They ain't even going to be on the planet. Or it's going to be someplace so safe, ain't nobody going to know what's going on. He going to be somewhere just chilling. Women, you are needed. We don't know what part we going to play. We're going to be doing a little bit more than just praying for folks. But when you see those type of things happening in the news, that's your time. That's your cue to start talking to the most high. Okay? To start talking to them. If you got any children out there in that group of people, Father, send somebody for them. Send something coming for them. Let a train come from somewhere that was supposed to pick up some other people. And all it did was pick up the people that was there and get them up out of there and get them to safety. Okay? We don't know how this whole situation is going to play out. But... We know enough about the people that we live around to not trust them and not trust their so-called systems that they have set up because thank God for TikTok. We wouldn't know none of this. And meanwhile, you on your Instagram or you on, you're on your Facebook talking about prayers for you. Okay, no, 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 no. I got prayers for my own kind right now. The hope that they get out of harm's way immediately. So... Ladies, I made this video just for you guys to feel a little bit better. Don't get don't get pushed away by the camps. There are some folks out here that do understand how you feel. I'm one of them. I felt really messed up when it came down to, you know, the camps and stuff like that. And I just said, you know, I'm going to pray in my own way and hopefully the most high won't be a chauvinist pig. But those guys are chauvinist pigs. Not all the guys inside of the area of this walk are like that. You know what I'm saying? Thank God they're not like that. <laughs> so I am very happy that I am around different people who have different ways of thinking and have a, 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 a open mind for people like me because no, I am not what you call um, uh, the typical type woman, but I am a regular chick that just wants to know what the Most High wants me to do, I want to do what He wants me to do. I want to walk in a certain type of way. I gave up walking in the wrong way so I could be, you know what I'm saying, so I could be what the Most High wanted me to be. And I and I think that's what everybody's trying to do right now, okay? And then there's some people who just trying to get right just so they can get picked up like they was back in the day, earlier on inside the, um, when they left Egypt, Okay? But understand that when this war situation comes, me and you ain't going to be able to talk like this no more. You're not going to be able to see videos because everything is going to be off. You're, you're going to not have your support system of listening to Big Judah, Big Levi, and all these different people. All of this will be off. So you're going to have to have this together. You're going to have to have your heart together. You're going to have to have your connection with the Most High together. See, this is the part that we do not seem to understand. 
is that at some point, this is going to go off. At some point, lights are going to go off. At some point, we may be in distress as those people are over there right now. And us being the colors that we are, we're going to be the last thing that this world is thinking about. And these people here are going to go into what they normally do. And that is thinking of themselves first and fuck you. So this is the reason why we're going to have to get our minds right and, and prepare ourselves for what we may end up having to deal with. Okay? And women of the female order of the priesthood, that's what we're going to have to come in at as far as these prayers are concerned and getting ourselves together and understand that we have a connection that is unlike anybody else's with the most high at this point in time. And he's going to be listening to us. Okay? So we're going to we the secret weapon in this. And I need you all to get yourselves and your minds right. If you getting poked in the back to leave them cigarettes alone, leave the drinking alone, leave whatever you buy and the weed and all that other stuff alone and get up and start exercising and get yourself together, I think you need to get with that program. The reason why is because if something like that happens, your cigarettes are not going to be available. The liquor is not going to be available, baby. Okay, that narcotic is not going to be available. The weed is not going to be available. So you're going to have to leave that alone. You might as well do it now and get yourself ready for that. You see, people don't are not thinking that what happened over there can't happen over here. And it's going to happen over here even worse. The UK is actually a lot more tolerable about race than we are. Even in Russia. They're a little bit more tolerable. Libby. And they having issues. What the hell you think gonna happen over here? That's all I gotta say. What you think gonna happen over here? It's time for us to start getting ourselves together and understanding how serious this can be. And if America's gonna be a self-righteous self and jump its ass into some shit, it ain't got no business being in. We may have situations where we don't have internet where we don't have electricity because that somebody's gonna hit us in some way or form or fashion okay and we ain't gonna it ain't gonna come on in a day or a couple of hours it's gonna be off for weeks on end then what you understand what i'm saying now you're gonna see how these people really gonna act and you already know they ain't got good sense So now we're going to have to have level minds in our communities being able to think with some kind of order around us or us being able to think with our husbands to be able to keep and become leaders in our own communities to keep people from losing their damn mind. Because you know these Christians ain't going to, oh Lord, they're going to fall out in the middle of the and they're going to be in the church, which ain't going to help nobody. And they ain't going to know how to do nothing. You're going to have to start thinking for yourself soon. Okay? Didn't mean to break it down. But ladies, we got a lot of work to do. Okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>